<laughs> okay, so we are here. Um, it's quite late at night, so sorry if we sound a bit drowsy. I've just come out from seeing Star Wars for the first time, and you saw it yesterday and today. Mm. So this is uh, Captain X and Rogue One calling through and letting you know about a spoiler-free review for Star Wars The Force Awakens. So, Rogue One, very appropriately named. Yep. Considering we decided on these names quite a while ago, this seems very fitting that this is going to be our first movie review. It's quite apt. It's very apt. So please, take it away. What did you think? Uh, I really, really liked it. Uh, I, I liked it very much. It's... um. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's really good. Uh, it, it's not without a few flaws, obviously, but then what movie is, it's not perfect, um, but it is really, really, really good. Like, really good. Like, really enjoyable, really fun. J.J. Abrams knows his Star Wars. He's always said he's a fan of the Star Wars movies. He's always said A New Hope is his favourite, and you can sort of tell uh, with the way that The Force Awakens works because it does a lot of the similar things. It's a lot like... Yeah, it's a lot like watching the most expensive fan film ever done. But it's with all the original cast. With all the original cast in, but it but it's official and it's really well done, and you get you get you get a sense that you know that it's not like they're the same people either. Um, should we try and explain the plot, or should we just leep in and no, review no, it? No, no, no. I don't think we should do any plot spoilers. All right. I don't think we should because I mean, I walked in. I I I had I'd heard rumors. I'd kind of connected the dots with a few of things that were going on, but I didn't know. But so I think it's best if just just. Watch the traders. The traders don't really tell you anything of the plot. Just go in and watch it. Like, like it's amazing. Like, it's kind of, it's like if a new hope and empire settled down, had a baby, and brought it up. Right. It's just, it's brilliant. It is so so good. The characters are amazing. This is not the prequels where everyone is exposition robot number three. They managed to make Samuel L. Jackson boring. When he died, I didn't care. But, that was an achievement. Yeah. So these characters are amazing. They are so good. You just get completely wrapped yeah. up in it. Yeah, here's the thing. Go I, and see it. Just go and see it. Go and see it is the main is the yeah. main is the main message. Um definitely. Uh Daisy Ridley is amazing. John, she's she jo wow. Jo jo like she's a real find and I haven't really yeah, seen anything. Yeah, she's before. a gem. Uh John Boyega is having a lot of fun all the time. Uh and the only other thing I've seen him do Oh no! I've seen him do a couple of things. I've seen him attack do the attack block. the block, and I saw him in he the good in that. last twenty four series, the mini series, Live Another Day, and he was really good in that as well, which he did just before he did this. And um, he's really, really good in this, like really good. And Oscar Isaacs as Poe Dameron is not in this movie enough, and he's fantastic. He's not in he's, it. It's so yeah. good. He is so good. But they're clearly like they're clearly they're saving, saving him. him. They're saving him for the next two, and that's fine. That's fine. Uh, what else? Everyone who returns. Uh, all the returning original cast and things like that are really good. Like yeah. Harrison Ford, as the older, as an older and slightly wiser Han Solo, is brilliant. He's really, really, really good. And you and you could be worried. You could be going into it thinking, God, what if it's like Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? But there's no Shia LaBeouf in this, so you're automatically an advantage. But even even then, I mean, you know, you could you could you, you'd be right, you, you, fairly or unfairly, you, you you might be worrying. But don't worry. It's he's really, really, really good. Carrie Fisher's really good. Mark hey, Hamill's really just, good. The whole thing. Like, cause last, cause so we've good. been we've been in a build up to this. We've been watching over the last six months the last the the, the original uh, six movies hmm. in order. The prequels hmm. were a little bit of a slog, and then we but, hit. But they, they, were, they were they were better than you remember. We'll probably do at some point in the future. We will probably do reviews of them. Yes. Um. Why not? But as soon as we hit a new hope, I'd. I don't think I'd ever watch it as an adult and actually purposely sat down and watched it without doing something else or catching it on telly. And I just, it's so good. Like, I know it's not perfect, but it's so good. And then last night we marathoned back to back Empire and Return of the Jedi. Empire is amazing. Return isn't quite as slick as the first two, but it's still a very good film. Mm. And just the banter, just... Han Solo and Chewbacca, the banter and the banter there in this is, was there, there, so... There's so... so and it's so, so funny. 
that there, there are so many really good running jokes. And there's physical humor. Oh, BB-8. You will love BB-8. I yeah. want to BB-8. Because you look at him and you're a bit like, oh, is this going to be like the Ewoks? Is this for the kids? Is, 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 is it, are there going to be at, poop you, jokes? Well, and, well, it's, and it's amazing. It's you, so much true. better. You look at him and you it's worry. It's so much better than you, you look anything at him, you, look you at expect. Him, you look at him and you worry, maybe Jar Jar. But no. But no, it can't he's, talk. He's it so can't good. talk like uh, but, Jar Jar. Uh, but, 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 it it's can express similar, itself similar, in beeps. Could, could, could have been a similar problem, though. Could have been. But there's no going to be... Um, that, that, that. There's none of that nonsense. No. Um, oh, yeah. And if, and if you... It's really weird. If you, if you like The Raid, if you ever yes! see The Raid, yes! watch out for, for, for a cameo from those guys. I which, saw them! Which is, which is incredible, but bizarre. But you are just like, of course. That, do you know what? That was the one thing... Well, there were two things that pulled me out of the movie. One I can't say because it's a spoiler. But that was one of them. I saw them and was like... That's the crew of the raid. It's incredible. It's really good. And then in the credits, they're credited as being the people behind that action sequence, like choreographing it and stuff. And you're like, okay, okay, cool. Fine. But yeah, so it's it's just so good. Go and see it. Yep. The bad guy. I, we can't say anything. We can. No, he's amazing. That's all we can say. He's badass. He's got his mask. He's got his lightsaber mm -hmm. with its with the, with, the, with the cross guard. Which with the is cross really guard. Cool. Um, and which there is a point for. It's not just yeah, 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 yeah. There's not just showing off and being different and no. trying to up Darth Maul's. No, no, it's, it's... Um, it, it genuinely has a point, and he's he's very good in the role. And whilst you might think, oh, it's just another Darth Vader, it's not another Darth Vader. Um, he's interesting. Um, we'll go into that more when we do a spoiler one of this, which we will do yeah. in a week or two, I imagine, just to give people time to see it. T to be honest, I can see his recording it tomorrow but just not releasing it yeah well you know that people don't need to know how because it's so awkward because we were we were on the bus on the way home from the cinema and it's just oh i, I want to talk about it and i'm i'm so conscious like i nearly made a joke about two minutes ago that would have spoiled something well yeah we've got to be we've got to be careful and i this. don't want to because it's just it's so good i want to talk about spoilers so we probably will do a spoiler review and then put it up in a week's time but just go and see it go and see it yeah go and see it and uh, and it's just, it's just such. It was an experience. Like as soon, like as soon as it came up, I was like, I don't know, because like the only movies, the Star Wars movies, the only ones I've seen in the cinema were the prequels. Hmm. And apart from the first one, where I was like, oh, this is gonna be amazing, and then was kind of like, I think even as a kid, like I enjoyed it, but I, I knew it wasn't quite as good as it should have been. Hmm. Yeah. No. I think. Um. I think. I think we all had that. I just, I don't know, like, I don't think I even uh, knew it. I just, I came out and was a bit like, oh, okay, this time just every expectation you have will be met, basically. It's mm. a really, really solid really movie. Fun. Really the fun. script is good. The story is good. The characters mm. are good. It makes sense. There's And it's interesting in that uh, it's, it's got to do a lot. Um, and you it's mentioned got to earlier, do a hell of a lot. You, you mentioned earlier about how um, it wasn't exposition heavy, which is really which is really clever, actually, because they've got about 30 years of backstory and stuff that they kind of have to get across, but they don't. Uh, but they but they sort of temper they it weave, in. They, 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 they weave it they, in. They, they weave in a nice sort of... Yeah, weaving is the right sort of word. They weave in a nice sort of tapestry. You get enough hints and ideas that they'll probably do a bit more with in the later episodes, maybe. But then again, they don't have to because you understand enough. It's like... um, Can I... I can mention, like, the Evil Empire's name and that sort of thing, right? Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Tricky so, that. so, so the first order, which are basically the empire, but under another name. It's empire like... diet, diet empire. Mm. Oh, there was something else I've forgotten. There was something else. Oh, the cinematography. Oh, the cinematography. The first shot of the movie. I looked at it and thought, I've never seen that before in any movie ever. I've Have never you... seen ne a shot just like that. No. Like J. J. clearly, J. J. Abrams. every frame. J.J. Abrams does care. Um, every frame has been laboured over and crafted. It kind of feels like when you listen to Coldplay music, like even if you don't like Coldplay music, you have to admit it is crafted, note hmm. by note, layer by layer. This is a finely tuned movie. It's just gorgeous. Speaking of note by note, uh, John Williams does some good stuff. It's fun to hear mm. his... Um, Hear his music come back in with certain yeah. like key themes and motifs that we all know. The uh, but there, but there is, there, there, if there is one thing that's disappointing about it, there isn't any sort of central theme that you could point to and say, well, that's the theme from that movie, which there was with the, all the others, and there isn't really with this, which is a little upsetting. I mean, there's one maybe, but it's not really I enough. Think... It's not strong enough. But it's not, But it's really okay. Good there's no jewel of the music. fates. I'll grant you that. But can I cannot think of any specific tune. 
from the theme music for Attack of the Clones. Across the Stars. Or I don't even know what that is. Or no Revenge mind. of the Sith. Like I don't. The original trilogy. I can tell you. Okay, I think I could hum it for you. I could mm. hum you the different things that come in all of them. But only the only, one, the only new one that has made an impression on me is the Jewel of the Fates. So I. Oh well, you see, I, I dispute kind that. Of feel I, I, would, like... I, I would dispute that because I mean, in episode two, you've got the love theme that Anakin and Padme have. Episode three, you've got the um, a Hero Falls music, the um, music that's playing when they duel at the end. I, didn't don't make, I don't even remember it. You don't even remember it. It's really good. Yeah, anyway, but I think... Anyway, anyway. anyway, anyway I think sorry, the fact that the I point. haven't remembered it, and proves I've that... seen it multiple times, yeah. kind of proves the point. It, it, it's not as iconic. No. Jewel of the Fates, you know, dun 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 Like that. Oh, my God. Amazing. Yeah, Absolutely yeah, yeah. amazing. It, at the end of this movie, it is not all neatly tied up yeah no yeah oh, there yeah, are yeah. threads left there is yes it's kind of it's i don't want to use the term cliffhanger because it's not really a cliffhanger but you're kind sort of, of you're you, you're left in the middle of something and i'm really interested to know where the next movie's going to start with it's going to be literally it's going to be right there it's got to be right there i, th- I think unless unless they're they not going to do flashbacks unless they, they can't um, do flashbacks um, unless they do what the originals do which was just move forward a few years because they they did that with the originals like the originals always took place in sort of real time so it was always a couple of years between movies well we're getting in, i i could see either way we're kind of getting towards spoiler territory yeah, now, yeah. but you but but the, cliff, the cliffhanger is really good it's really good so it's what, what really, I, what I said, what really I, good what i said earlier about it um aping a new hope is not strictly true because a new hope ends in such a way that oh yeah you know it could have been a complete thing in and of itself. Whereas but there was tr- still threads. You knew Darth Vader was out there. Oh, just go see it. Yeah yeah yeah. Go see it. Go see it. Go go, go see it. Don't worry. Just, They've done I think really well. Stay away from any spoilers. Just go in completely oh, yeah, fresh. Yeah. Allow like there are there are quite a few surprises along the way, and mm. I loved it. I absolutely loved. It. I love not knowing. The connections. I love not knowing what was coming next. I love not knowing, you know, all the main plot beats because that's that's the problem. With so many movies, you go through it and you're like, ah, oh, that's gonna happen, that's gonna happen, that's gonna, happen. they're gonna die, they're gonna live, that's gonna blow up. This is that's what the one line and they're gonna say, and it's just it's not like that at all. Overall, okay, we need to give our star rating. Oh, no, 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 no. Are, are we gonna are we gonna carry on let's wa- keep waffling? Going. Let's keep waffling. I'm enjoying myself. Uh, oh yeah, right. I want to do the spoiler review. You want to do the spoiler review? <laughs> Like right now, you just want to maybe. Well, I suppose that would be easier. Um, anyway, if we're gonna, we need to stop if we're. If we're gonna do it, okay, all right. So I just feel like we've talked about everything. Anything we... we're gonna say now, we're just gonna be gushing or That's going true. over it again. That's true. So, so we, so we've done our gushing. Um, is there anything else I feel like I should say? Go see it. Yeah, go see it is the oh, main message. Oh, and if someone starts clapping in your cinema. Start clapping too, because this is the first time I've ever been in a cinema and there's been a round of applause at the end. Yeah, and the applause was lovely. The applause at the end of the screening it, just was. Because you didn't have it in your first one, did Not you? Not in the first one, though. I thought about doing it, but I didn't do it. And now I feel bad. Do you know, because I, because there was about one or two people started and then I started clapping really loudly and then it just spread. Please clap, because it was so lovely, because it felt so fitting. And I'm just, I'm such a happy Star Wars fan. Yeah, I'm so happy. Me too, and it, and it's and it's 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 worth it for me because um, as some of you may or may not know, <coughs> I have over a hundred Star Wars books. There's a reason he's called Rogue One, guys. There is, there a, big, is a reason. There, there 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 is a big reason. Uh, and um, even though them doing this movie meant that basically all those books are completely invalidated because they had to make up their own new continuity and blah 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 blah. I still, you know, I needed these. I, I didn't need it to be good. But the fact that it was yeah, really good. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I, I didn't. We all needed a good Star Wars movie. Okay, fine. We all it. needed a good Star Wars movie. But anyway, it was uh, really, really good. Uh, and I really, really enjoyed it. And I hope everyone who goes to see it enjoys it too. And it sounds like it's going to be a massive hit no matter what we do. Because it's meant to have made $250 million just off of the tickets that have been booked. Just in America. Anyway. And that's just in America. And so I'll be interested to see how it does over this first weekend. Well done, Disney. You're doing really good stuff. You're trusting people to do the job, and it's fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Um, just so good. Just uh, so good. Go see it. Yeah. Like For me, it's really easy, and I am i don't care. It's five. Five out of five. That is unreal. Don't care. That, that Sorry. Is, that Sorry. Is, that is unreal. Five out of five. You're, I am, you're just, I you're am, on a high now. I but... am on a Star Wars sugar high, and I don't care. I have not 
I have not enjoyed a star a new Star Wars movie like this <clears throat> since I watched Empire when I was a kid. Fair enough. Well, you see, I, I'm I'm in a slightly more realistic place because five out of five is perfection, and you know this. You will. You're never going to give a five out of five. I you? might. You are never. Like, he's very particular. Like I I know it's not a perfect movie. There are a few flaws that we'll talk about in the spoiler video, but I th these are not major flaws. These no, are not. not major flaws. They are minor nitpicks. I mean, when the first trailer came out, the two criticisms that I heard about was I don't like the font that Star Force Awakens is in, and I don't like the shape of the helmets they've changed on the Stormtroopers. They've changed the line. They've changed it's the like, design. You yeah. are looking for flaws. Like, have, have I given my rating yet? You haven't. You have. You have four star face. No. Okay. Ah. What are we gonna do then? I was gonna do four point five out of five. Okay. Fine. Um, okay, so I think we'll we'll end it there. So basically, the summary is: it's Go amazing. It. Go see it. The force is strong with this one. Indeed, I think that's a perfect note. We're signing out now. So goodbye from Captain X. And goodbye from Rogue One. <laughs>